and welcome to another vlog. This is fortnightly vlog number three. <laughs> I need to think of a more like snappy um, like name for these vlogs but I love it when people are like it's vlog week 52 we've been doing this for a year or whatever it's kind of fun to just like see how long you've been vlogging for but anyway vlog week fortnightly vlog number three. <laughs> so today it is Saturday the 23rd of January so this is the week before you're gonna see this vlog and I've got a busy day today. It is 1.30 already and I think you can see that. Um, and I'm just about finished with my makeup. I need to put some lipstick on, um, decide if I'm gonna dare try and do fake lashes because it's always just so stressful and I need to figure out what to do with my hair because you'll have already seen hopefully um but i'll link it down below if not i am filming my pretty much my most exciting video yet it's definitely my most excited fashion related exciting fashion related video and i'm so so excited to get started so in case you haven't already seen it i am filming a collab today with six of my favorite body positivity content creators so they're all on youtube and instagram a mixture of the two and it's six wonderful wonderful women who have inspired me or encouraged me or supported me along my journey so far and i was just over the moon when all six of them said yes i'm not going to talk too much because i'll probably say all this in the video later and i'm already repetitive as it is um but yeah i'm gonna get ready for that I also want to try and take some Instagram pictures today, like <laughs> I'll just do everything in one day, it's not ideal, but if you work full time you kind of got to um, juggle these things and I'm going to try again for the third time to take my 15k celebration photo. Um, I am thinking about doing a video separately about this so I don't know if it's already up or if it hasn't gone up or... I don't know but I <laughs> like the first time I tried to take the pictures you saw it was a disaster the balloons never came blah 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 the second time it was just really bad I was having a bad um like self-conscious day it was one of those days where everything went wrong and I'm thinking of making a video about that because a lot of people ask me about body positivity and confidence and that sort of thing and I think um that it's important that everyone knows I've said multiple times but everyone knows that it's a journey um and I'm thinking I might do a separate video about that so if I've already done it I'll link it down below if I haven't done it um hopefully it's coming um but yeah anyway so whilst I procrastinate whilst I decide what to do with my hair I thought I could show you some more bits of makeup that I've picked up because I've been shopping again and do you know what I'm not even mad at myself because I've stuck within my spending budget I'm not going out I'm not doing things I'm not going to events I'm not going to the cinema or to restaurants so I like the way I work my money is that I budget a certain amount of spending money each week um, and I've stuck within it so I'm not gonna feel guilty um, but I've got a little haul from um, Boots and I've got a little haul from Beauty Bay so I thought I could just quickly show you that in this video we had a little Huda Beauty haul in the last one um, so we may as well continue the trend and you know start with boots I hope my lighting is okay like I don't know is, is it too bright that might be better like the, the problem with lighting is like if I want to make it look bright around me half the time it washes me out and if I don't want to look washed out half the time it's like a bit dark but I think this is probably better for the vlog so I placed a boots order um, which I'm very 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 excited about because I picked up some Fenty makeup that I have wanted for the longest time I've been like deliberating for a very long time as to whether to get these items because they're expensive but I had a bit of Christmas money as well so I added that to this order and I thought you know what treat yourself <laughs> please tell me that you're Parks and Rec fans because I I, I I don't know if we could be friends if you're not a Parks and Rec fan like if you haven't seen it I'll forgive you as long as you go and watch it but if you've watched it and you didn't like it I, 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 just, I don't think we can be friends I don't think we can be friends 
Um, but yes, anyway, treat yourself. So the first thing that I picked up was from Fenty Beauty, obviously. This is the Instant Warmth Bronzer and I got it in the shade Sunstalker. No, no, I didn't. It's the Sunstalker Instant Warmth Bronzer and I got it in the shade Inder Sun, which I think is the lightest. But look at this packaging. It's beautiful. So this is expensive makeup, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, how, it's just so pretty. I haven't tried it yet. I'm trying not to like show you the mess of my room in the mirror because um, I'm saving it for a testing video, but I'm very excited. I got um, like a long time ago, like obviously <laughs> pre-COVID, um, I went into Boots one time because I was thinking of picking up the Fenty Hydrating Foundation, which I didn't end up liking. And the lady at the counter put this bronzer and this setting powder on me. And I remember there and then being like, I want this. But it's just taken me a long time to be in the position where I can like drop the coin, you know? <laughs> um, so this next one is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. And it's huge, guys. I got it in the shade Butter. But is that not just like the biggest setting powder ever so again i've not opened it yet um because i'm going to save it for a testing video but i picked those up and i am very excited i also picked up some bits from l'oreal they had a free for two deal and i wanted to try this mascara because if i've just heard people raving about it on the internet especially steph toms who i absolutely love if i can remember i'll link it down below but if not just she's called steph toms um she is a youtuber that does mainly makeup and i really really love her um so this is the telescopic extra black um mascara it's an old one but it's only just really getting hype these days and i'll show you what it's like because i am going to test it very soon so i don't mind opening it but it's a super super thin like wand so i'm very intrigued to try that out um i'm gonna be filming a testing new makeup video soon and when i do that i usually pop like um a poll on my instagram stories to like show you what new makeup i've got and let you pick what i'm gonna test so if you want to be involved in that if you follow me on instagram it's just miss trina louise um hello oh, <laughs> oh i have lunch and a cider <laughs> i'm being treated today is this because we're going to have Prosecco later? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I've got a cider. Um, I have also got some... Oh, guys, you need to get on this. Flaming Hot Baked What's It are my life at the moment. And a pesto mozzarella chicken bagel. So <laughs> I'm going to eat that, but um, what was I even saying? What was I saying? I don't know. But um, I'm going to eat my lunch and then I'll be back. I am back. I've got a spicy mouth at the moment from <laughs> the um, What's It's. Like, they're not that hot, but I'm like a baby when it comes to spicy food, but they're just so yummy. Um, so, back to my haul. From L'Oreal, I also picked up two foundations. I got the Infallible, Infallible, Infallible 24 hour matte cover in 110 Vanilla Rose. This was the lightest shade that they had on Boots, and it's way too dark for me. Like, I don't know if you'll see on here, but I swatched it and it was just so dark. So I'm gonna have to give that to someone. Um, but I also picked up, and this is the one I wanted to try more, the Skin Paradise Tinted Water Cream. And I got this in the shade Fair 02. I've heard loads of great things about this. The sun is coming out now and it's messing with my lighting again. Okay. <laughs> uh, the joys of natural sunlight um but this is meant to be just like a really lightly tinted moisturizer which um will give a bit of coverage but not too much and a bit of a glow so i'm thinking on like more natural days when my skin is in a good condition i could use this and then i picked up two bits from maybelline because i really wanted to try this mascara i've heard so much about it it's the um lash sensational sky mascara and it looks like this so a smaller bristle like plastic bristled wand um so i need to try that out and i picked up another <laughs> superstay matte ink because i wanted one in a proper red shade now i think this is a bit more of an orangey leaning red than i meant to get but i'm still happy so that is what i picked up at boots and because i spent like over 20 pounds on makeup i got this box of like free goodies um worth 40 pounds so a couple of things i'm going to keep but a couple of things that i won't use so i'm going to pop them into a future giveaway um i will be i will be launching my 15k giveaway in this video towards the end whether it kills me or not 
it will launch in this video so do stick around for that um but the first thing was from revlon have i made it too dark now honestly guys the sun is just playing with me <laughs> um this is the hyper matte um matte lip mousse in the shade i don't know dusty rose which looks beautiful so i'm gonna give that a swatch because yes i will definitely keep that so that's really pretty another thing i'm gonna keep is a primer from rimmel this is the lasting finish makeup primer um i don't know what it's meant to do skin perfecting and extends the uh wearer foundation so i'll keep that one thing that will be going into a future giveaway is from Sleek, this is the Matte Me Metallic Lip Cream in the shade Rusted Rose because I don't wear metallic lip colours. And then I haven't decided yet. Let me know if you've tried this mascara and whether I should keep it or not. But this is another Maybelline mascara. This is the Great Lash Mascara. I feel like this is an old classic. Um, so let me know if it's a good mascara, if you think I'll like it or whether I should pass it along also got a soap and glory bath bomb i'm not a big bath person so i'll probably pass that along then um got an essie nail polish in the shade 13 i think um it's very very light so but then i do like a light nail sometimes so i'll probably keep that and then we got a load of samples as well so we got a third off coupon coupon voucher for xx revolution and then just a load of different samples as well so i thought that was quite nice as a little freebie so i'll quickly show you what i got from beauty bay and then i need to get on with filming excuse all the banging filming my haul for today because it's um it's now nearly two o'clock and it's going to be a big job so just quickly from Beauty Bay, it's a much smaller pile of things to show. I picked up three of their cheek products to try. Um, I've only tried one thing from the Beauty Bay brand and that was the Pastels eyeshadow palette. Um, and I heard again, Steph Tom's raving about the highlighters. So I thought I'd pick up a blush and two highlighters. So the blush that I picked up is in the shade um blossom and it's a bit darker than i thought it was gonna be but i reckon i can make it work i love a glowy pink blush um and that's what i thought this was gonna be but it's a little bit more like dark than i thought it was gonna be hopefully you can see um so i'm excited to try that do i need to keep the box <sighs> like when when someone does a testing makeup video do you need to see the box that the makeup came in? Probably. <laughs> um, so I'll keep it for now. But then I got two highlighters in the shade Beam and Glaze. So I'll show you both of those. And I've already swatched these. I'm not going to lie. So I'll swatch them for you again because these are beautiful. And they're so, so affordable. So I've got Glaze, which looks like this. A more pinky leaning one. And Beam. So let me swatch them both for you. I'll try and link all this stuff down below in case you want to pick anything up for yourself. But that's what they look like. So that's Beam and that's, is it Glory? No, that's Beam and that's Glaze. So sorry if the um, angle changed then at all, but my memory card decided that it was full and I hadn't noticed it was coming. So it just like stopped me mid recording, but I think I was about to do the swatches. So I've got Glaze, which is this pinky one which may be the tiniest bit dark for me, um, but we'll have to see. And then Beam, which is definitely more my shade. Like this beautiful champagne shade. I really hope that these are picking up on camera because they are so, so beautiful and like um, blinding. <laughs> and then I got one more thing just to show you. I got a BH Cosmetics blush palette which I have wanted forever this is the Bellini palette and honestly you know my love for BH um eyeshadows so I thought I've got to try this because it is beautiful look at that <laughs> I'm so excited to try it I haven't even touched this because I'm saving it for the video um and because I picked up something else from BH, which is going to be in my giveaway, I got some brushes for free, which I thought was quite nice. They're the Chilling in Chicago brush set. And they're okay. 
I wouldn't say they're the best brushes ever, but I will definitely make use of them. They're a bit light and they feel a little bit, a little bit not, not too soft, but I will definitely make good use of them. And the handles are just beautiful. It's like an iridescent red to orange shift. So there's a good couple of brushes that I will definitely get some use out of. So not my favorite brushes, but definitely good to have. So that is everything that I wanted to show you. So I am now going to sort myself out and start filming and I'll see you when I next see you. Hi guys, so I'm sorry if it's a little bit echoey, but I'm coming at you, well, I'm coming at you from my bath. <laughs> we have just done my 15K celebration photo. Didn't end up filming it, because I think last time I just, I got a little bit stressed with like trying to take the photo and trying to film a vlog at the same time. It just didn't go very well. So I thought, let me just take the photos um, and then I'll pop them in so you can see, but I'm in the bath with balloons. <laughs> Like, it's been very, very fun. Like I've got my 15 balloons behind, got my oh, star balloon <laughs> and some of these fun balloons. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna be happy with how the photos turned out. Like Adam was an absolute superstar. You should have seen the angles he was getting in to help me take these photos. But I think we got there. Finally, success third time lucky fourth time third time <laughs> but yeah I'm just chilling in the bath <laughs> with the balloon <laughs> um so yeah this is probably not something you thought you'd see in a vlog like me just like <laughs> chilling with balloons <laughs> if you've got a balloon phobia I'm sorry this is um probably not the vlog for you <laughs> but I'm gonna go now because I need to try and um figure out how to get out of this bath so yeah, I just thought I'd show you, but yay! <laughs> we did it, woo! <laughs> Hello, so today is Monday, Monday the 25th. I cannot believe it is the 25th of January, like, it is blowing my mind. Like in one way, I feel like January has been super, super slow, but then at the same time, I'm like, well, it's February next week. That's crazy. How is it February 2021 next week? Like I've got this really weird, like view of time at the moment like it seems to be going so slowly but so quickly at the same time um and it's probably to do with like just being in the house and <laughs> not being able to have a life outside of um the apartment but yeah I'm like time seems to go really really slow whilst I'm experiencing it then when I look back it seems to have just gone like passed really quickly so yeah I, I don't know where that little thing came from it's probably I don't know anyway Monday Monday evening thoughts um I hope my lighting is okay like I've edited some of the footage back from Saturday's bit of the vlog and I realized that even when I thought I'd got my lighting right it was still too bright and I think the reason is that when I'm looking on my view like my screen I think it looks darker than it is when I get it on the computer so I'm going for a bit of a darker thing today I'm just using natural lighting there's not much left it's nearly gone well I've got my like light light but I've not put like artificial lights on if that makes sense um because I thought maybe better be a bit darker and you can actually see me um so I'm hoping it's a bit brighter in real life like on the screen than it looks to me right now but anyway um yeah I need to I'm trying to learn as I go how to use all the equipment I've got and the lighting and the camera and things um but it's a process it's a journey I'm getting there but yeah so the weekend didn't do too much um filmed edited posted all day Saturday um for my um collaboration which was just amazing like I'm so glad you guys have enjoyed it so much I'm so glad with how it turned out and then that night you <laughs> you saw I ended up taking my pictures um, for the 15k celebration, which I'm so happy with how they turned out. Um, I posted them up on Instagram yesterday and like the, the love and support you guys are giving me on those pictures, I really appreciate it. And I do wish that I'd edited the lighting on them a little bit more because in the end I was like, I don't want to use any fake, like any of my studio lights. I just want to be comfortable, have fun, take the pictures stress-free. Um, and then when it came to posting them, I was like, I'm just so excited let me just post them um, and on reflection I love them but they're a bit dark so I do wish I'd have edited them a little bit um, but like editing photos is just so 
foreign to me and I have no idea what I'm doing or how to get started and I've got all the apps and I just have no idea and so sometimes I just don't try and I need to just start trying because if I don't start trying I'm not going to learn and I think that that's something that's kind of holding me back on Instagram is the quality of my photos like one the lighting isn't great inside and I don't know how to fix that um in editing and two like we live in not a small apartment but it's not the biggest apartment and there's not that many like I, I love our apartment but there's not many like instagrammable photographical places <laughs> if that makes sense so I can't wait till I can get out and about and take proper content for Instagram in the future because I think it's just going to up my Instagram game but if you know of like any I don't know online courses or videos or tutorials or anything that I can try watching to help me improve my like light editing skills um then let me know in the comments down below because I'd love to try them out because I think sometimes I just get so scared of not knowing how to do things that I don't try and learn how to do them like I, that sounds ridiculous but I don't know if you know what I'm like maybe it's a feel fear of failure and sometimes like a task can feel so overwhelming and complex that you just don't try <laughs> um so yeah if you know of any like lighting tutorial type things that I can um like light editing like photo editing should I say tutorials or online courses or whatever let me know because I, I need I need to do it I need to get on with it I need to fight the fear and learn so tonight what am I doing tonight I am cooking dinner probably nothing exciting tonight um I'm going to be doing some planning for this week's video so I'm trying really hard to not film in the week like film proper structured videos in the week if I can but if I have to, to like not plan, film, edit and post them in the same night because after work that's really intense. So I'm going to try planning the video tonight, filming it tomorrow and then I'll edit it and post it on Wednesday just to try and break it up a bit so that I do still get to relax of an evening. Um, so I'm going to start planning that tonight. I am going to be doing my body positivity, confidence journey type video um which I'm I, I, I'll, I'll probably talk about it in the video I'm a little bit scared of because <laughs> um sometimes when you talk openly about these things people can um I don't know take it the wrong way and misunderstand your point of view or be offended by what you believe and I'm not here to upset anyone um at all with what I think and um yeah I'll talk about it more in the video but it's it's scary to put your opinions out there um but I'm trying to be less afraid of what people think and know that if I have good intentions and go about things in the right way with the best of intentions that hopefully people can understand where I'm coming from so I need like that's something I keep talking about I do have a voice and there is merit to my voice and value to what I've got to say I'm trying to learn that <laughs> and I'm trying to really put that into action this year so that is why I'm doing that video but yeah I'm gonna try and properly plan it tonight because I want to have thought it through properly because it is a bit of a sensitive subject and it's sensitive for me and it's sensitive for others so I want to make sure I put proper thought into it so planning cooking replying to some comments on my video um because I've got loads of amazing comments to reply to but again <laughs> this is gonna sound so ridiculous because I read every comment I get and they mean so so much to me but I do sometimes struggle to reply to them and I don't know how to explain this without sounding ridiculous like I find it so much easier to just sit and talk with someone than I do to write things down um like I, I kind of get a bit of anxiety about written communication if that makes sense like I feel like I'm quite good at verbally communicating but as soon as it comes to writing words down like my anxiety gets the better of me and I like go over what I've said over and over again even if it's the smallest like thing that I'm saying I can sometimes get really like paranoid about what I'm saying and anxious and I'm like oh is that gonna be taken the wrong way I feel like in conversations you can really easily explain what you mean there and then whereas with comments and written communication I just have to put it out in the world and hope that you know what I mean I mean it's not like we can communicate on when I'm doing videos either but 
I don't know, I kind of feel like I, I, it's easier to explain. Like, I'm just better at talking than writing. <laughs> and um, so sometimes that holds me back and I am trying to get better at that because you guys, like you put your time and energy and love into commenting and it isn't that I don't appreciate it because I genuinely read every single comment, like every single comment and um, I love, 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 love getting them. Um, and yeah, I feel, kind of silly like saying this because you know it I, I, don't, I don't know I don't know <laughs> I hope you understand I hope it doesn't sound like I'm ungrateful because I can't explain to you how much I appreciate your comments and I am gonna try and get better because again it's gonna be something that practice makes perfect and the more I do replied comments the more comfortable I will get at just using my written words <laughs> I don't know um but yeah I'm just blabbering now I didn't know this was what was coming but it came I hope you can understand where I'm coming from and just know I'm working on it so I'm going to spend a good amount of time tonight replying to as many comments as I can and yeah like maybe I'll just take you along with me a little bit but that's kind of the plan for tonight nothing too exciting um but if anything interesting happens I'll Come back to you. <laughs> Saturday the something or other 30th 30th of January I'm sorry if the camera quality isn't great uh, I'm on my phone at the minute I've made the fatal error like I got up had some breakfast had a shower and now I'm back in bed and I have <laughs> so much to do today I need to finish off this vlog I need to film a huge clothing haul for next week which I'm super super excited about I was going to do a foundation review and an unboxing. I was going to just like smash everything out today and then like edit it over the week. But I'm back in bed. What time is it? I think it's like 1.30 and I need to like, don't worry, I'm not going to like flash. I need to dry this, which takes forever. Like... I have quite a lot of hair and drying it is a process. Um, my filming room is a, just a mess. There's stuff everywhere. I've got a lot of like life fixing to do before I can get on with today, but I really want to have a chilled out day tomorrow. So that means I need to get my arse in gear and get on with it, but my face is feeling dry should probably do like a sheet mask or something which would mean I can just chill in bed for a bit longer but <laughs> I'm just trying to find excuses because I can't be bothered I can't be bothered I just <sighs> is anyone else like that one like I love having a steaming hot shower but then I get out and I'm like bedtime I'm tired I'm relaxed I just want to watch YouTube in bed <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I need to sort my life out because I'm excited about the videos I need to film today but it's just like the process from here to being behind the camera there's a lot of things to do and once I'm there great but like, what's this what is this I just like deep conditioned my hair and it looks like this but it won't do when you next see me Hopefully, I will have found the energy, sorted my life out. Coffee. Coffee is what's needed. <laughs> so hopefully next time you see me, I will be a bit more, well, dressed at least. Because <laughs> no one no one came to the vlog for this. Um, but I felt like I was lying in bed procrastinating. And then I was like, well, if I vlog whilst lying in bed procrastinating, then technically I'm not procrastinating anymore. 
because technically right now I'm working. So logic says that I'm winning. <laughs> Okay, right. I'm getting cringy now. So I'm going to go and maybe watch a little bit more YouTube. No, dry your hair, dry your hair, get on with your day. I'll see you soon. <laughs> so we made it. I actually got out of bed, got myself together, popped on some makeup. I'm actually um, filming some other videos at the moment. I've just filmed most of a foundation testing review that is coming this week. I just, um, I'm doing a wear test in it, so I need to wear this makeup for a few hours before I finish off that video. And I've got some more filming to do. So I wouldn't normally do my vlogs, like, sat here in my proper setup, but my camera is set up here from a previous video and I'm filming my next video here. So, you know, <laughs> I'm just gonna finish off this vlog here. And I'm gonna finish off the vlog by finally, finally launching my long awaited 15,000 subscriber giveaway. I know we've had a few bumps in the road to get here, but we are going to launch it today and I'm so excited. But before I do that, I just wanna say a huge, 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 huge thank you to the response that um to the video that i posted on wednesday where i talked about my body positivity confidence journey because i was so scared to post that video guys i was really scared and the response that i have got from everyone who's watched it has been overwhelmingly kind and I cannot thank you enough. If you haven't watched that video already, I will link it down below and I recommend that you do because it's one of the videos that I'm the most proud of ever filming. And so if you're gonna watch any of my other videos, I would say that one because I'm just really proud of it. But uh, yeah, I just really wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart for how kind you've been in the comments section of that video because I put myself out there in a way that I haven't done before. I was more open and honest and let you into my life a little bit more. And that's always scary, but you were so loving and supportive. So thank you so, so much. Right, on to the exciting <laughs> bit. We are doing my 15,000 subscriber giveaway. Like if you're new here, hello, hi. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining. If you fancy sticking around and subscribing, I'd really appreciate it. Um, but I recently hit 15,000 subscribers about two weeks ago and I was meant to do my giveaway closer to the time, but you know, if you've been watching my vlogs, you saw the <laughs> disaster that happened, but I am finally launching it. So without further ado, the giveaway prize, I wanted to do something a bit special for this one. And what I've done is I have picked some of my favourite products from 2020 and I've rebought them for one of you. And these are products that you will have seen me talking about throughout 2020 quite regularly. <laughs> so what I wanted to do is give one of you guys some of my favourite products. I have rebought all of them. They're all brand new over there, but I'm going to show you mine because I don't want to open up the ones that are for the, um, for the giveaway. But the first thing that I'm going to include... I had to include, hands down, this is one of my favorite makeup products, if not my favorite makeup product from 2020. It is the BH Cosmetics Hanging in Hawaii palette. I have talked about this nonstop. Oh, let me mute my phone. Uh, there we go. I have talked about this non-stop and I'm so glad that one of you are going to experience this for yourself. It's a beautiful neutral palette with some pops of pink and the shimmers are just so beautiful. Like this is one of my favorite, this is pineapple and it's just, oh, look at that. It's beautiful, so, so beautiful. So I had to include this in the giveaway. And I had to include a second eyeshadow palette. So you're getting not one, but two eyeshadow palettes. This is the Soph X Revolution Extra Spice palette. This is not the one you will get because mine is destroyed. I've talked about this palette a lot. This is the palette that got me into pinks and yellows at the start of 2020. So this gives you an idea of what it looks like, but obviously yours will be brand new and fresh, but you can see how well loved mine is and I truly, truly think this is a great palette. So you've got a really nice neutral palette and a bit more of a colorful palette. Then we've got this highlighter palette. This is from Essence. This is the Choose Your Glow highlighter palette. I have raved about this a lot. It is beautiful. You can see I have really dug into this shade. I like mixing this shade and this shade. So Candlelit Glow and Major Glow. They are beautiful. So I'll swatch all three just on my fingers for you here absolutely beautiful and if I just swatch them here 
they are gorgeous i love this palette so so much so had to include that i've got a couple of other things from essence which you'll have heard me talk about we've got the lash princess mascara i have talked about this non-stop it is an amazing mascara it is one of my favorites i've had two of these so far and i think it's wonderful and a lip product from Essence. Again, raved about Essence lip products last year. This is the This Is Me lipstick and I've got it for you in the shade Zero Free Bold, which is a really pretty brown shade. Let me swatch it. But I love, love, love Essence lipsticks. So I'm really excited for you to try one out because I cannot wait to hear what you think. Also, my favorite eyeliner of 2020 is the Ico Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner and Wide Lash. I love a eyeliner that is a brush tip rather than a felt tip. I just think it's so much easier to work with so beautiful i've really really enjoyed this eyeliner this year so i'm glad that you can try it too i keep saying the same things but honestly if i like this is a box of my favorite things so i'm so excited and then a pretty new one to my collection towards the end of the year but these liquid eyeshadows from elf are beautiful i've got the full set now and um, the one that i'm giving you is flirty birdie this is my one so i'll swatch it for you but I don't know if it's going to show up on camera how beautiful it is. Like it's got a pigment behind it, but the glitters are just stunning. Like, can you see how beautiful those glitters are? And oh, I just love these so, so much. So that is everything in the 15K giveaway. You've got two eyeshadow palettes, a highlighter, a lipstick, an eyeliner, a mascara, and a liquid eyeshadow and I'm really, really excited to give this to one of you. So the rules for the giveaway are, you need to be subscribed to my channel, you need to like this video, and you need to leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite makeup product of 2020 was, and a way for me to contact you, so be that Instagram or an email, whatever works for you. This one is a UK only giveaway because at the moment shipping in the UK is a nightmare with a mixture of Brexit and COVID. It's really tricky to get things in and out of the UK. So for this one, it is a UK only giveaway. And I do have a second giveaway that I'm gonna be launching, but this is gonna be over on my Patreon account. So my Patreon, I don't talk about it very much, but it's basically a group of incredible women who want to support me a little bit further with my channel and with my content. They pay a small amount each month between one and ten pounds whatever they want to slash can afford to completely up to them um and over there we have loads of fun we do zoom calls we talk about what videos i'm gonna do um i do giveaways sometimes like this one and it's just a really really nice group of people i will leave a link down below in case you're interested in finding out a bit more if you do decide to join first of all thank you so so much um but you do still have time to enter this giveaway over there but please do not feel any pressure whatsoever if you aren't interested or if you wish you could but you can't afford it like do not worry at all this is just a little extra for those that want to and can um afford to so i am doing a giveaway over there and i'll just tell you really quickly what it is so that you know um but there is a dr botanicals face mask this is the pomegranate superfood re generating sleeping mask then I've got a sample of the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes Mascara. We have got an eyelash curler, a little palette from Bang Beauty. This is the warm neutral palette. Let me just show you this. So it's a pretty palette. We've got an Aveda product. This is the Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair. We have got a liquid lipstick from Sleek. This is the Matte Me Lipstick in French Fancy. I love this. I've got this myself. It's beautiful. Got a little bath bomb from Soap and Glory. A little eyeliner brush from Zoeva. This is not eyeliner, brow line brush. <laughs> A, a little brow gel from Saint Lux. We've got a foamy shampoo bar, which is super, super fun. Um, but with having bleached hair, it's probably not for me. And then lastly, a eyelash and eyebrow serum from Sunny Isle. So if you wanna find out more about this or about my Patreon, um, then I will include a link below, but feel free to ask any questions in the comments. And thank you so much to my Patreons. 
So I hope you're excited about the giveaway. I thought really long and hard about what to include in it because you guys have given me so, so much and I wanna try and give back as much as I can. And I thought that giving you some of my favorite products would be a nice way to do it. So good luck if you enter. It will be closing in two weeks, but I'll leave all the information in the description as I usually do. So that is it for this vlog. I'm gonna sign off. I hope you've enjoyed it. I know it's not necessarily the most interesting because my life is contained into an apartment, but hopefully we'll be able to go out and about soon soon and I can make the vlogs just a little bit more interesting for you but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on Wednesday for my testing foundation video bye